Hey, it's Bullfrog here. I'm in my uh, breeding coop with uh, number one and my best liege hen and then my half liege, half azil pullet back there. And I just want to give you an update as to how my breeding projects are going. You know, you've probably by now seen the video of poor John John. Uh, he was my uh, blue face American game that got killed by the eagle because I had turned him out to free range to get some physique on him because he was he was kind of uh, kind of out of shape spending his whole life in a coop. So uh, he spent about a month free range and he was just starting to get shaped up nice and uh, eagle caught him. But I had number one in here for uh, breeding these hens and also making some pure cracker hens. I had uh, four of my best cracker hens in here. Two of them are still in here. Let me show you why. They just hatched out some biddies today, and uh, and I also have some pure cracker biddies off of them over in the barn. I'll show you here in just a minute. Let me uh, let me uh, show you uh, how these biddies look. All right, so here we got a bunch of uh, pure cracker biddies in here, all fathered by number one. I don't know how many I got yet. Looks like I got quite a few in there. Good batch. They'll probably be ready to hit the ground tomorrow. Look at here. See that white one? I also got a white one in the barn that I hatched out of the incubator. It was a mystery to me who was fathering these white chicks. And I thought it was one of my young stags. Or a blonde hen that I had. It's not, it's been number one all this time. This is the first time I've made uh, several batches of chicks that I knew that he and he alone was the father of. So, um, oh, look, look, there's two white ones in there. Uh, so there's probably, I'm sure I at least got a dozen, do <laughs> a dozen in there. And let me show you what I got in the barn. So here in this little brooder aquarium, I've got nine pure cracker biddies that I incubated. And again, there's another one of the white ones that number one seems to be throwing, which is okay. I'm feeding them a 30% game bird starter. That seems to be what my cracker biddies do best on. I mean, they do fine in terms of surviving and being healthy on a 18 and 20% chick starter. But man, they really take off on the 30%. So that's what I'm feeding them. I do have a hot plate in here. I just have it picked up for the moment. But um, hot plate is how I prefer to keep them warm instead of, uh, instead of using a light. Up here in the incubator, I have a dozen pure cracker eggs. Then in the middle, you'll also see there's some blue eggs, and that's coming off of the one, the hens that were supposed to be blue face, but they may have something else in them. But they're they're doing so good free range, and what I've really noticed about them is they're such good survivors that I decided to go ahead and just uh, set some of their eggs and see how they come out. Number one would have fathered all of them. <laughs> These are my teacup American game bantams. Uh, not to be confused with the American game bantams that I'm breeding to the show standards, which are more than twice as large as these are. Uh, I reckon these pullets weigh about 12 ounces, and the stag there, the bigger stag, weighs maybe 18, 19 ounces thereabouts. Uh, but you see, they're they're really athletic looking. They don't look like a Serrano or a Dutch Bantam or even what old English game Bantams are starting to look like where they got little short stubby legs and, you know, and just kind of look like munchkins. Well, these, these you can see are very athletically built. Um, the, the two stags are not fighting yet because they're just not old enough, but once they get old enough, I wouldn't be able to keep two of them together like this. But I think they look really good. Uh, look at that that partridge color one there look just how she looks just like a miniature truly a miniature game hen um in just a bit here i'm going to try to slip a uh 
soda can in here. All right, they're scared of the soda can. They're not getting too close to it, but you can see that the pullets are just a little bit bigger than the soda can. But um, that's about the best scale I can give you as to how small they are. But yeah, I really do like these birds. Uh, I'm not gonna show my, my show standard ones in this video, um, but I'll, I'll show them in a later video. But that's where I'm at with my breeding projects right now. So uh, this has been Bullfrog. Thank you for watching.